my dad used to skate back in his teenage years when he was like, around like 15, 16, and he loved it as a kid. Um, but I think his parents were never supportive enough for him to actually go anywhere with it. So then I think when he had me and my brothers, he really wanted to get us into skateboarding and really support us to the point where we can have a future in it. I would say he did it in like a little bit of a strict way, which probably wasn't necessary because bottom line, I love skateboarding. That's all I want to do anyway. So there wasn't any need to like force me to do it. When he was handling all my stuff when I was like 11, 12, 13, like that's fine, you know, I'm, I'm so young. And then it came to the time when I was like 14, 15, and that's when I think I was ready to kind of start learning how to handle stuff myself. And my dad is a very controlling person, so he wanted to still make basically all my decisions. And I think my sponsors kind of didn't agree with that, and I personally didn't either. Puerto Rico's far, and my dad wanted to move there. I thought it was an interesting decision. I wouldn't say it was the best decision for my career, especially with Element. It came to a point where I wasn't showing up to enough autograph signings and demos. They were just really not happy with my dad's decisions on moving there and keeping me so far away from stuff like that. I did actually completely lose uh, my sponsorship with Element. That's when uh, it all kind of started to go downhill from there. My mom, she ended up moving back with all my other siblings and I was kind of the one sibling that didn't have like a choice because my dad was my manager so he felt like he had complete responsibility of me. My mom really saw that she needed to do something to actually help the situation. And that's when she um, went to the courts and filed the divorce. That definitely helped me out a lot to get back to California and get back to my normal life of practicing skateboarding every day and getting back my sponsors and gaining new sponsors. Unfortunately, I haven't had contact with them for the past uh, year or two. If he did happen to call me anytime soon, I completely accept him back in my life because I am thankful for the way he raised me, even though it was really strict, it was also what got me to where I am right now. So I always have to be thankful for that.